welcome everyone to this channel i'm mrs sejoma your instructor today we are going to talk about the call to freedom and we're using moses as our case study moses the deliverer our learning objective states at the end of this lesson you should be able to define the meaning of freedom list and explain the various types of freedom narrate the story of the birth and the call of moses as a deliverer and state out the moral lessons learned from this story a memory verse is taken from galatians chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads it is for freedom that christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. It is the same Bible that says, If the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. Christ has set us free. He went to the cross of Calvary. He died for me and you. We are free and we are free indeed. Now, many of freedom. One of the greatest gifts God bestows on mankind is freedom. Freedom from fear, freedom from sin, freedom from oppression by others, and freedom to exhibit our personality as God created us. What do we mean by freedom? Freedom can be likened to liberty, emancipation, independence, or self-determination. Freedom or liberty refers, can be referred to as an absence of undue restrictions and opportunity to exercise one's right and power. As Christian students, our vision is to reach out, give up, rehabilitate, educate, and empower every person in order to achieve individual and community transformation. Tomorrow, go. you have the privilege to be in in high position, use the opportunity to help others. Use the opportunity to, to give hope, to give peace. Now the next stage, we're going to talk about types of freedom. We have the various types of freedom, political freedom. Political freedom can be seen as the liberation of a country from political bondage. It is the ability of a nation to free its citizens to participate freely in political process people have the right to participate in any political process going on within the country no restriction no halts no fights we have economic freedom a situation where the country frees itself from over dependence on one commodity nigeria is known to be dependent on a only petroleum as our export products but now we have other other things we export, like cash crop of cocoa and granules. We have social freedom. Social freedom is the freedom from ignorance and superstition through sound education. Freedom from disease and unhealthy environment through proper care and environmental sanitation. We have freedom of religion. It's a situation where everyone has the right to choose what type of religion he or she wants to believe in. Then we have freedom of speech. Everyone has the right to speak his mind without any persecution. These are the various types of freedom we have. Now we are going to another subheading, the birth and the call of Moses as a deliverer. And our text can be found from Exodus chapter 2, verse 1 to 10, and chapter 3, verse 1 to 15. We all know the story. After the death of Joseph, a new pharaoh who did not know Joseph came to the throne. Oh, how he maltreated the Israelites and gave them difficult tasks. The new pharaoh ordered the midwives to kill the male Hebrew born in their wars. God caused Moses to be born at this time to Amran and Jochebed, that's Moses' parents, who hid him for three months from from being killed. God's special grace upon Moses was found and adopted by Pharaoh's daughter when he was left at the bank of River Nile by his mother. 
or not to Pharaoh's daughter Moses was given to his mother to nurse. The story went on, and at the end, Moses grew up, and God called him that he has to liberate or deliver the children of Israel from the hand of the terrible king. Moses was a stammerer, he acknowledged his witness, and yet he obeyed the call, and he went, he set them free. By the grace of God, you are all growing, and you will get to that level, the Lord will call you to do one thing or the other for him, do not hesitate. What are the moral lessons we have learned from this story? God wants freedom for all. Old and young, male and female, God wants everybody to be free. Because freedom allows us to develop one's human and natural resources for the benefit of all. We must learn to value freedom. Always protect it and defend it. Anyway, we must learn to support any genuine movement that struggles to achieve freedom for the people. Just as God called Moses to liberate his people from slavery, we must learn that one day we will be called upon to perform important duties. The Lord will help us, we will be useful in God's kingdom. Amen. So today we have seen the call, of, the call to freedom, Moses as the case study. And we have seen the meaning of freedom and the various types of freedom. We have also learned about the story of Moses, how he was born. At the time when the king made law that no, no male children should be found, his mother gave back to him and hid him at the river bank. But God, in his infinite mercy, kept him and he was used mightily. For further reading, I will refer you to Potter. Read from the Potter. Thank you. God bless.